we are back <laughs> for the evening and we will find the best places for you to see the elk in Rocky during rut. Yay. <laughs> All right, well, we came to Rocky for the elk, but we can't pass up moose. <laughs> We're at Sheep Lakes. No sheep, but the moose are still here. And we just met someone who um, knew us <laughs> from the channel, so hello. I don't know if I said this, but I almost forgot why we're even here. <laughs> we're here to scout out the places that you could see elk here during rut in Rocky Mountain National Park. And this is one of the very first stops mm -hmm. at the Fall River entrance at Sheep Lakes, which we're so enamored with the moose right now. Um, but this huge meadow is really great for seeing elk, a lot of mm -hmm. elk activities in the evening. Well, we talked with the guy uh, who's been here for a while already this morning, and he said there was a significant herd of elk about 12, 15 elk, two bulls, um, that had left the meadow shortly before, 15 uh, to 30 minutes before we got here. So that was like right at sunrise. Sorry, I think I cut you off. Okay, yeah. So Yeah, right at sunrise? Okay. Yeah. So, cool. Um, I think we have to move on, though. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Moving on. So just over here, we turned the opposite direction of Trail Ridge Road. We spent a lot of time at Trail Ridge this year. Now we're going the other way back towards like um, Bear Lake Corridor. Mm -hmm. But this um, is one of the cool overlooks. You can climb up on these rocks. You can see down into these meadows that we're going to kind of wind our way through. And there could be elk anywhere in here. Again, it's really early in the day. You're going to see these mostly in the evenings. Um, but the light and the fog this morning are just, it's mm -hmm. so, so pretty. So we're still on the lookout, but anytime you see some of these meadows, and sometimes during the day, you'll see them kind of resting in the shade of the trees. So even if you don't see the whole herd out in a meadow, there could be a few just resting under some trees. So this is a really pretty overlook. Uh, by the way, also, if you're a photographer, be sure to, uh, the link in the description has a link to a free guide for photographers of Trail Ridge Road with every single stop and what you could potentially see there. So be sure to grab that too. Moving on? Moving on. Moving on. Okay. All right. So we just did the turn off to Upper Beaver Meadows, just like two minutes from where we just were mm -hmm. at the Overlook. And it's kind of a rutted road, but this this spot it has a lot of elk in the evenings during rut wow um so also restricted hiking right steve yes restricted hiking we just Dur and we'll, during rut season we'll link the article we put it in the community tab too but there's a little bit of an article of what trails are closed right now so moving on Okay, we made a quick pit stop here, but I think just around the corner, there might be a herd of elk in that field and it's still early enough, we can get some good light on them. Ah, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I just saw the far off one, or I heard it bugle, but there's so many cars running right here, you can't hear it. It's pretty far out there, but I did hear it bugle. And it's 8.40 in the morning and there's no parking left. <laughs> They're parking along the road. This is a great place though, because they're so far off in the field, we're not disturbing them at all. So you never, ever want to get close to elk in the regular year. During rut, especially don't do it. They're very aggressive. We saw a video film two days ago, first week of September, elk in town in uh, Estes on Highway 34. And the elk charged their truck in the middle of the highway. Um, so the truck uh, slowed down and then let the, let the elk do its thing and kept going. If I can get the clip, I'll show you. And he did the right thing. <laughs> wow, whoa, this is real Yeah, pretty. he's taking the harem into the Into, into the, the forest, huh? Yeah. yeah, into the trees. Are you even still in the shot? I can't so tell. So we're not gonna see that yeah. interaction. Yeah, yep, yeah, he's taking him up into the shade way over across the meadow. Um, so I, I messaged my friend, Nick. He is a volunteer ranger up here during rut and he'll be here this evening which we won't be here he's going to go down to moraine park which we're going to next and his advice was the truck that stopped on the freeway they did a good job but the people who were passing the truck don't do that <laughs> don't do that um and also he says never honk that can provoke them so just slow down let them pass and then slowly go past if you're in your car um and if you're out, just be really patient. These really are wild animals. He couldn't stress that enough. Patience, wild animals. Please, this time of year, just slow down. Take your time with your car or on foot. Stay off the trails that say to stay off um, and give them tons and tons of space. This is where your 200 to 600 is going to, in, going to come in handy. Maybe with the teleconverter. Um, so... You know, keep those safety measures in mind. Steve's just off camera, I think. Oh, there he is. Okay. The sun's in my eyeballs. I can't tell where I am. <laughs> You've got yeah. a herd up there also. Oh, there is a herd right there. Yeah. Oh, how cool is that? Okay. We're going to get back to taking some photos. But look, um, Upper Beaver Meadows is a great place to see the herd. Okay. All right. Well, dang it, I was mistaken. Apparently, Moraine Park is past the Bear Lake entry kiosk. Shoot. So you do need a Bear Lake timed entry ticket to get to the Moraine Park area where... Yeah. Man, you're really gonna see some herds there. We'll have to do that sometime this week. <sighs> Come back and go through there. Okay. Yep, we'll have to come back. Yep. Okay, it's two days later. 
<laughs> and we are back in Rocky in the afternoon. It is now three o'clock. We got in without the main gate timed entry ticket for this time. And what we did was we got a timed entry ticket for Bear Lake Corridor at the four o'clock entry. On and uh, check out the other places and then um, get down Bear Lake Corridor because that's where Moraine Park is. And we know there's going to be a huge herd in there. There almost always is. So, yep. We are back <laughs> for the evening and we will find the best places for you to see the elk in Rocky during rut. Yay. <laughs> hmm. Yikes. There is quite the traffic jam here at Upper Beaver Meadows. We're not even barely onto uh, the road. Yeah, we got people that are parked well in the end of the road is the problem. Okay, people are parked on the road. But it's only 3.30. We can't even get into um, Bear Lake Corridor for another half an hour. So we thought, oh, <laughs> well, come see what's down here. Well, there's a lot of cars. Yeah. That's what there is. Yeah. See, that's the issue is they're just, they're parked. Oh, they wow. Be parked. They're parked. Right in the middle of the roof. Okay, that is a problem. Um, so that's one of the things during elk rut in the evenings is people pick out a spot and early. you stay there early. Like if you're you're at Upper Beaver Meadows at two, just stay there. <laughs> stay there for the day. Yeah, so we're, we're just gonna turn around here and get out. Oh, we just saw up over there the reason why right now the herd of elk is right behind this hill. So these people are really close. <laughs> Ah, just over that hill is a whole herd elk. What a mess. In other news, I have two bars of service at Upper Beaver Meadows with Verizon. Okay, where all those cars were, we were just stuck. They were trying to climb over this hill and look down in this valley. Can you see this? All the elk are down in this valley. All right, so we usually come into Estes Park and go up here to Fall River Visitor Center. But there's a second entrance right here at Beaver Meadows. If you're going into the Bear Lake Corridor, just come in there if you don't want to get to the rest of the park. But what we often do is go in Fall River, stop by Sheep Lakes, come down here. Here's that Deer Mountain Deer Ridge Junction that takes you all along Trail Ridge. Don't do that <laughs> for the elk. Go down here, and we were just here at the Upper Beaver Meadows Trailhead. And just when we come around the corner, we're gonna to come to this entrance and they have the tickets booth set up right here. For some reason, I thought it would be down here, but it's right here to get into Bear Lake Quarter. So that's the ticket we have is for Bear Lake and it starts right there because Moraine Park all in here is where tons of elk activity is. And then the Bear Lake Corridor takes you in here down to Bear Lake, Sprague Lake, which everyone says you can see the moose at, uh, which I have, but we really want to go to this section. So that's what we're looking at for the elk places. Good elk places, sheep lakes, and Upper Beaver Meadows and Moraine Park. And any meadows in between they can be at, but those are the three main places a big contingencies have been seen at. We still have 10 minutes, so we dug into our dinner. <laughs> I totally forgot to mention also, we got last minute timed entry tickets. There was still, we got tickets for Tuesday night on Sunday night, and there was still 91 tickets for the four to six entry time. So it is still possible to get last minute tickets into the Bear Lake Corridor. There should be some for you. We found it. <laughs> There's a lot of photographers set up with their um, lawn chairs <laughs> and their long cameras and their or long lenses. They're just sitting here for the night. We're, gonna, we're about to be one of those people. If we can find, ooh, that might be a good spot right there. A safe spot to uh, park up. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so we're here at Moraine Park and there are elk out in the field and you're allowed to walk out into the meadow until 5 p.m. and then they cut it off. There will be rangers here soon. Um, so you could see photographers walking around out there, but they know they get cut off in like half an hour. It's kind of cloudy, a little dark, uh, but not too bad. There's an okay size. Um, herd down here and two bucks. One is still over there with the females and one walked over the hill. So uh, we got a couple of shots, which is fun, but you'll definitely see them here. There'll be a ton of people here in the next hour. Trust me. This is the best spot. So in previous videos, I've said, oh, hey, you don't need the Bear Lake entry. <laughs> but during rut, you do. So plan ahead <laughs> to try to get that timed entry ticket for the evenings for Bear Lake Corridor and come out here to Moraine Park. You'll definitely see elk here in September. There's Steve. He's ready to move down the meadow. And we're pretty much thinking the herd is gonna move from over there to over there. So, I don't know. <laughs> well, we're still in the same spot. I've sat down on these rocks and trying to get kind of a low angle with the field and the flowers in front of the photo. And Steve is just up there um, getting that higher angle. So they're still in this part of the meadow, but we can always walk down to the next one. Uh, we're, we're going to stick around here for a little while longer. We brought some sandwiches. <laughs> it's nice and warm and the meadow's about to close. And even though these elk are kind of laying down to sleep right now, we think they're going to get up. A little bit later on. Yeah. Yeah. And move around. So we're just going to chill here and have a sandwich and, and take some pictures mm -hmm. and video. And, um, now you know where to go. And this is the very, very beginning of the season, like Steve said, so there's yep. very little activity right now. You'll see even bigger herds, uh, even in a week. In a week, maybe two. Yeah, yeah so the next couple weeks up in Rocky, uh, definitely come up here and take a look if that's something you're interested in, listen for the bugling for sure.
So I'm looking out that way. Over in there, there's a few. And then over here, there's a few. So they're working on crossing the road. Maybe they're going into town. <laughs> Ooh, the big, the big bull is over here. Not gonna get him back there. He's in the brush. Yeah, he's way back there. <laughs> She's contemplating. Any other pearls of wisdom? Rhea, a warning you will hear all too often. Keep your distance. Keep your distance. Stay patient, keep your distance. They are wild animals. <laughs> and you are in their territory. Yes, that is true. Yeah, so check out those three main spots in the park. Get yourself the timed entry ticket for Bear Lake Corridor, and you're good to go. Come in the evening. Yep. There you go. Come all day. Fine. Okay, we have activity. Oh, we didn't have time to eat our dinner. Okay, say bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Watch the cactus.